Hi everyone and welcome. Today is Saturday the 15th of December 2018 and this is the Saturday Hukalo Human Colony webinar. Our special channel today is Jim Charles. Um, in our room, let me just introduce everyone, we have Christine, we have Dave, Deb, Dawn, Ava, Jesse, Jonathan, Mark, Marlena, Michelle, Pamela, Reinhard, Selesh, Sheer, Stephanie, and myself. Karen Newman, we have a full room. Who do you have on your side, Jim? I have Angie and Will and Barbara and Chris and Jack. Awesome. Well, so today is a paid webinar, which means it's for the members of Club Hukalo. If you'd like to become a member of uh, Human Colony, you can go to hukalo.org forward slash webinars and join Club Hukalo, and you can join us in our wonderful Google room, and you have, uh, first, you have uh, first row access to Jim and have him be able to answer your questions as he channels. Uh, also, just to let you know, coming up, we have, Jim, why don't you tell everyone what we have, the, I can't even say what it's called. <laughs> it's the um, Galactic Reiki Teachers class. Right. And I, there's a, quite a bit of interest in that right now. I've gotten at least eight people that said they were wanted to take it. It's going to be on January 12th and 13th from we've decided from either three to six or four to seven we will uh, in, invite you to comment on that and the price will be a hundred and eleven dollars for two three hour sessions okay it's a teacher training correct yes it's the teacher you'll learn um some advanced breathing techniques that go along with the galactic reiki you will learn um uh, there's an extra symbol, I think, and you will learn how to do the attunements. Um, and there will be a lot of questions and answers. But remember this, you have to have taken Reiki 1 and 2, the uh, spirals and non-spirals, before you can take the teaching class, because you will be required to know the symbols that you have already learned. So practice up on those, uh, because... If you're going to be a teacher, you're going to have to know your symbols and what they mean and how to how to draw them and how to make them in uh, to work for you. So that is my announcement for the Reiki teacher class for January 12th and 13th. And so if you want to take the class, they just have to get in touch with you? Oh, they have to get in touch with Angie, actually. I'm going to have you send the money to Angie. <laughs> Angie, will you give your address that you're going to send it to? Um, uh, the PayPal is aspeed6456 at yahoo.com. Yahoo, you sure? Okay. And my email address is aspeed6456 at yahoo.com. So, okay, aspeed, Angela Speed, aspeed. Okay. And what was your question, Will? My question is about for those people who are interested in the Galactic Reiki Master Teacher class, and they haven't taken the spirals and non-spirals or any one of the components, but they still feel compelled. They're an online version of the class that they can take for the spirals and non-spirals so that they are prepared and they I, can meet. I do not think so. Is there, Angie? Uh, no, there's not. There's <laughs> nothing online uh, for the spirals and non-spirals. So, I will be having another uh, uh, spiral, non-spiral, gal galactic Reiki regular class in March. Okay, so, so if you aren't, so and then we'll probably do another. Well, go ahead. No, I was going to say if you haven't qualified for this teacher class, you can you can take the uh, the regular uh, prerequisites in March, and then you'll probably be offering the teacher class again sometime in the summer. Yes, correct. definitely, because okay. uh, there's a lot of interest. Okay. It appears to be anyway. I okay. think that we have, I have eight people written to me already. I'm going to have, uh, give those addresses to Angie. They can send their payment to Angie of $111. She will keep track of them and all that. So, okay. Okay. And also, um, oh, so, I, I, even though I have an assistant, he has enough to do with the scheduling and everything else. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have Angie do that. Okay, also, too, on Fridays, we have the free uh, 
practice channeling group. So that is led by Ian. And so if you're interested in that, you just go to Facebook and you just Google, or not, you don't Google it, you Facebook search uh, Hukolo Practice Channeling Group or Channeling Practice Group, and you can join that for free. And then every Friday, they have a group. And if you're a channel or an aspiring channel and you want a safe place, a friendly place to practice your channeling, you are definitely welcome and invited. So that's every Friday afternoon, um, that Eastern Standard Time. And the last announcement is that if you haven't got it already on Amazon.com, you can download or you can buy as an audiobook the book written by uh, Jim Charles and Max Rimple. It's From the Galaxy with Love, a Lightworkers Handbook. And it is a culmination of several years of channeling and some teachings just about the state of our spiritual world as well as what's going on in the galaxy and all the things that you really need to know. It's truly a light workers handbook. It's gotten amazing reviews and we would be so uh, happy if you all the proceeds go to Human Colony helping us. So uh, please if you haven't uh, purchased the book be sure to do so. It's a great Christmas gift. Anybody looking for something to buy for someone who has uh, questions about uh, you know, what's what's happening in spirituality? What about aliens? What about channeling? It, it's a great book and it's a great present. So please check it out. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, so starting with blessings, let's start on this side. Dave, why don't you go ahead? Okay. Druko anna shia wo anna sahute ya. Abushunda Nagawe, Ashia wa Nasia, Anahute Babanza, Shakunda Naya, Ewashna Hatura, Anasaia Avea, Naute Branga, Ashunda Naraway, Andunda Nashigua, Anna Bashunda. We look at life in such a precious way. And as we look at you, you are a precious gift to us. We are praying for you and lifting you up in prayer every day and hoping that all things will move forward in your ascension and make sure that you are delivered to God in a great and wonderful fashion. Thank you. Jonathan. Hey, thank you. Um, mine's going to be a little bit different. Mine is all in English uh, today, but uh, it came coming from my higher self I, in, in this Christmas season. It's most important during this time for those that are far enough along the integration path of their higher selves to not be afraid to step forth and share to others about their journey and also not to be afraid to identify their higher selves when asked for it's the voice of the higher self that is the purest of light that flows through each soul. Um, that's something that's been impressed to me and uh, during this Christmas season for those that are uh, coming into that, uh, it can be seen as something uh, like a gift. And it was it was because of that reason, uh, it's important for this particular message to be shared. So uh, here's the blessing invoked from my higher self. Um, blessed be to those just starting their journey and blessed be to those somewhere in between. Blessed be to those that can see the light in these transmissions. And blessed be to those just learning to see. Blessed be to those far along to meeting and integrating their higher selves. And blessed be to the meek, the humble, and those who seek humility. For it is through those eyes of wonder that vision shall be restored. And the truth, the light, the magnificent brightness of the higher self shall be enabled to be called forth. Thank you. Nice. Okay, um, Jesse, go ahead. Jesse, oh, Jesse, go ahead. Okay. Which I can guys, I, 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 I
There is a new spirit that possesses you this season. Many of you have come to new realizations and are growing exponentially. Some of you are just coming to the light and understanding what the light is all about. Remember to immerse yourself in it so that you may be pure and people will see that you, your purity is what is coming forth. Let everyone know that your love is also intact for the world and that you are reaching out in some way and in some fashion to strengthen and enhance the world around you and the light that is within you and all those around you. Thank you. Um, in your room, Barbara. Barbara. And speak up. <laughs> <laughs> Visions and dreams in this age can be blurry and not understood. But there is a time coming when they will be crystal clear and they will bring great reason and great information to the earth. Some of these dreams and visions have already begun. But do not worry. They will be chosen by God to come through at the most appropriate times so that the world can benefit. Thank you. And then Will. Unconditional love is becoming more and more necessary in this day and age. You must be able to look through the conspiracies and the darkness to find the true light and meaning and understand what is actually happening in the world. Do not let the negativity and conspiracies trouble you, for they shall pass away. They will be uh, understood by your light in your love and God's guidance in your life. And let him be the light in your life. And do not be afraid to move forward and stand courageous against the darkness. For this is a time when the light is most necessary. Beautiful. Thank you. And then Deb just asked if she could also do a blessing. So sure. please, go ahead, Deb. There was a little bit Thank more. Thank you. Oh, my God. Unaika is so naya or kaita akanaika. Umaika is so naita is so a o kaisa naito or samaika ito so naya. Umaika is so ita so kaito so maya yuka. Unaita is saito saina. Umaika is so ito ko oto o kaisa naita. Umaya o kaita. All beings have a version of prayer and have a version and understanding of God in their own special way. 
Do not let that affect your movement forward, for he is multifaceted. He is many personalities and many ways to show his goodness, kindness, and love to many different worlds and species. Let this holiday season show you his love in a most particular way that you can find it. He is with you and is ready to guide you through the most difficult times. Do not give up, but keep your eyes focused in a way that you can find the light. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Um, just to uh, review, uh, we had to, we did have some requests before we went online. Uh, the requests were the Dreamweavers, Tukur, uh, Elijah, Jesus, um, I'm losing my, uh, Margaret Thatcher, who else do we have? Prometheus. Prometheus, uh, uh, Lord Vishnu, uh, Apollonius of Tiana. Did you say Noah? And No, I did not. <laughs> but Noah was also one of the requested ones. Yeah, Noah. Yeah. Very good. Okay. There's a lot waiting here. Okay. Hold on one moment and I will do a meditation. Thank you all. Uh, uh, and I want to say Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy Hanukkah and holidays greetings to whoever's out there in this time. There's a lot of goodness and love being transferred one to another. And I just want to say the season uh, may it be blessed and may all you be blessed in it. Thank you. Thank you. I am Elijah. Welcome, Elijah. I have come to just wish you holiday greetings and God's blessing in this time. I know that not all of you are feeling 100% the joy of the season, mm. but let God shine down and bring you up in this holiday season to know that there is a love greater than that that can be felt on just the earth or any species or any world. But as you grow closer to God, your being feels totally enlightened, tingled with joy and understanding. And as you get closer to God, your entire being becomes part of him. This is a great and wonderful mystery that you will enjoy sometime in the future. But keep your mind on it so that you have hope for the future, even beyond this earthly dimension. Remember that I love you, and I am here to help you. Call on me if you need me, and call on Jesus, Krishna. Allah, whoever it is that you find to be a good spiritual leader for you, for all faces of God are him. Remember that, and remember to uplift one another in this season, for you are going to be uplifted as well. There is not one religion that is more right than the other. But God shines down and gives you the pure truth. Remember that that shines through all religions. And let the practice and the, the hypocrisy and the formalities and the bureaucracies pass from your eyes 
so that you can see what is truly at the center of all beliefs, and that is God and the belief of great love, great truth, and great understanding. His prophecies are true. His prophecies come through people just like you and I. I know that when I was alive, I felt unworthy to accept his messages sometimes, for they were not for me to say, because I was also guilty of some of the things that he would have me tell the people. But remember this, when God asked you to speak, stand up and do so. Stand up and be a light. Stand up and know that he is with you. How do you know he is with you? Because you will have that courage. You will have that understanding that I must stand. I must do this. And if you do not, then many people, not only yourself, but many people will not get the blessing that is meant to come forth. So bless yourself and bless others with God's word as he brings it forth to you. Some of you there will be also prophesying and speaking the word of God, but others of you will not. It will only be for those that he sees that can do it pro appropriately. But fear not. Your missions are all great. Your thoughts are all good in God's eyes. Become even more perfect than you already are. Because in his eyes, your love, your joy, compassion, and all the things about you are perfect. But you can always get better and always grow. For he is always uplifting. And you say, how can you be more perfect? When God's soul is within you, that is a perfect soul. When it starts to grow, it's even more perfect. When that creation of God starts to bring forth fruit, it's more perfect. When it starts to show greater love and compassion, that's more perfect. When it starts to do a mission that helps many people or just one, that's more perfect. Much love to you. And be blessed during this holiday season. Love one another. And that's unconditionally. I am paused there because... I see that there are still family members that are not getting along one with the other, and you are part of that. You are part of some kind of maybe indiscretions. Turn your eyes to God. Bring that love in. Do not be a problem, but a cure. But you say, oh, they treat me so badly. And why do you perpetuate that? Why do you continue to give back to them what you know they will give back to you? Give to them love, compassion, and understanding, and they will be baffled by it. They won't know what to do. They may still bring negativity to you, but their thoughts will change about who you are. Their thoughts will change about what is going on. Their thoughts will change because you have changed and become an example. Have a wonderful holiday season. Give, but not till it hurts, but till it feels the best. Give till it feels like you have given 
what God wants you to give. A lot of people say give to what hurts. That's not the point. Give till your heart is full. Much love. Much love. Thank you. Greetings, I'm Takur. Welcome, Takur. I have come briefly to give you an update on the colonies. Perfect, that is what was... In we... this holiday season for you all, there's many holidays going on on your planet at this point. But I wanted to say, give us a Christmas visit, or a Hanukkah visit, or a blessed holiday visit of some sort. We would like you to come and be part of the colonies no matter what i know that originally human colony was started for this and that we have gotten away from it a little bit not as many people are asking to come not as many people can remember it when they get here but remember this the more fourth dimensional energy you are acquiring the greater your memory will be of coming here there are some that remember uh, many things and others remember nothing but please come it comes to your subconscious what you do here and it, it stays with you until it's necessary to come through so we ask that you come and visit us i know that um the messages have become more spiritual but the very thought of helping one another is a beautiful thing and we love you very much and we'd love you to come visit the we do have a new colony the seventh colony is a meditation colony we have added that to the six colonies we had before the reason why we have done that is because there are times when the people that come to the colonies after they have done some channeling work or light languages or telepathy or exercise or even entertainment they want to calm their minds and become part of a more spiritual surrounding and we see that that is a necessity so we have added colony seven the meditation colony please come join us i know this is a big commercial <laughs> but you know what I am good at giving commercials and information <laughs> and if there are any questions out there I will be happy to answer them at this time okay Ava has the first question go ahead Ava. hi Tikar so lovely to hear your voice thank you questions what do you think about the fluoride in the water in the United States, which is, which is so controversial. How do you see it? What's the impact of, of human life? And my second question is, um, I have a cold sore light now, which interferes with my ability to kiss. I wonder if you could remove the virus causing it from my body. Very well. The first question about the fluoride is this. There are some places where the fluoride in the water is stronger than other places. Where the fluoride is stronger, it can sometimes be a little hazardous to the pineal gland. It is good for the teeth, but it is not good for the psychic uh, areas. However, most places, and I say most, have very limited uh, fluoride in the water. And you have toothpaste with flu fluoride in it as well. These are very minimal amounts. And it would take an awful lot for it to destroy the psych psychic uh, abilities of the pineal gland, especially when fourth dimensional energy is becoming stronger and stronger in your world. If you wish to only use very small amounts of toothpaste, that is fine. And if you do not drink the tap water in your areas, sometimes that would be as 
good as well. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you this, it's not that bad in most places. And most people don't drink the tap water anyway. So I do not see it affecting many humans very much. And in fact, if, if it, you feel that you are being affected, come to the colonies and we will take a look at you. you. We can see what's going on in your astral body as well as your physical body because when you come, the, whatever we do in the astral will translate into the physical to some extent. So please do not be frightened about these things because prayer can also dissipate chemicals and fluorides and prayer can uh, cut through many different things. And so can meditation and intentioned understandings of clearing the body and the water. All you have to do is, if you have a glass of tap water, uh, put your hand over it and intention that that water be purified. And with your belief system and understanding, chemicals can be purified out of these, uh, these water sources. And it's really not that much to clear these things because they're in a small and minim minimal amounts. Your second question is, I will get to you later with an infusion and... Kissing will be, once again, part of your repertoire. So, Matt, I am so grateful. Could you also tell us a little bit about what's going on on the planet right now? It's, it's always good to hear. Well, the thing is, yes, we're, you mean what we're doing? In your, what you are doing, but also you, you always tell us about basically any changes. Whether oh, yes, there has been some changes. But um, remember this, changes are sometimes temporary. Uh, your, your grand solar minimum, which is uh, affecting the earth, volcanic and uh, tectonic and uh, seismic and even with the pull of the, the um, axis, is in full effect right now. So it is affecting weather and many, many different things. So please bear with that uh, until it, it is over. We do not know when that will be. We have some positive predictions, and there are some species that predict that will last long, uh, a very long time. However, in order to make it the most honest answer, I will say we do not know exactly when that will pass. Scientists have made many uh, predictions, but none of them seem to be really correct. So the other thing is, uh, politically, it is affecting also the political state of the, the planet. Uh, there's more disruption, more chaos, but that will also pass at some point. Um, remember this, you are here to pray and get through all the troubled times and present your mission as purely as possible to the earth. So do not let these things bother you or do not let them trouble you, but just continue to move and be as positive as possible because that's the only way you will defeat anything not to learn about the negativity but to learn about the positivity so that you can learn how to get through the negativity learning about the positive uh, negativity is uh, not worth it anyway because only part of the truth shows up when they give it so you're only le learning part of the truth anyway so learn about as much positivity as possible so that you may push through the negativity when it comes. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Decker. Love you. Love you as well. Uh, Christine has the next question. Go ahead, Christine. Christine. Hello, Decker. Greetings. Um, could you tell me, am I visiting um, any of the colonies? Yes, you are one of the ones that have a constant visitation once every month or every other month. 
you do visit. Good, good, good. Um, so just the usual, state it before I go to sleep, where I want to go or whatever call yes, me. Yes, usually we give you, there's usually a date that Sengi prepares for each one. Uh, you don't go every night, but your next date will be the 16th. Uh, well, that's very close. The 16th of December. Oh, okay. Cool. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, Michelle has a question. Go ahead, Michelle. Greetings. There's also a question in the room whenever she is done. <clears throat> okay, go ahead with the question in the room. We'll come back to Michelle. Maybe she stepped away. Go ahead with the is question. Is there a question in the room? Yes. 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 <clears throat> it's not so much a question, but I just wanted to ask you. I would love to visit more often and call on you. Sure. And I know sometimes it's not. Am I getting better so that I can visit more often? Correct. There was a period where you were not well enough to visit. And uh, when we would come to ask you during, you see you're given a date to come. Okay. We'll come on that date to ask you if you want to come that day. And if you're not well enough, then you turn it down. If you are well enough, then you you go along. Your next date is the 26th. Okay, perfect. Um, Michelle, are you back? Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Can ahead. you hear me? Yeah, okay. Yes. Sorry about that. Um, I, I had requested to, to go to the colonies. Um, can you tell me if that happened? I, I, can you tell me if that happened? Yes, you go to the colonies every now and then. You have a lot of things going on in the at the um, other dimensions. So uh, going to the colonies is not something you do a lot, but you do every couple months go, yes. Thank you. Your next visitation will be the 30th if you choose to go. Okay, that's great. Thank you. I had asked for uh, healing as well. Did, did that happen? And, and an implant for uh, channeling. Did any, any of those the things The implant happen? was given. The infusion was small. Uh, did you feel any results from it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I still have all. Another infusion will be coming. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Blessings. You're welcome. Um, there's some questions from the YouTube chat. Uh, Richard is saying, um, he's saying thank you for uh, giving information about the colonies, and he would like to know where they are. Oh, the colonies are on the ships. There are also colonies on Maya and Era. There are uh, two planets that also have colonies. Now, those colonies are, are more exclusive. They're by invitation only by the kings there. But there, there are 12 ships, now 15 ships, around your planet. And each one of these ships has colonies in them. So um, there's like uh, three sets of, uh, three full sets of colonies. Okay, perfect. And then uh, Krulik has a question. He wants to know, uh, has he done any artwork on Colony 3? Uh, the Colony 3 is the filmmaking and uh, the, the uh, first contact and the uh, those kinds of things. Um, but uh, disclosure area. Yes, you have done some. They have asked you to do a little bit more also in the near future. There are videos and films still being made by Colony 3 that will uh, be put on the internet. Now, we don't say where they are because as soon as we say where they are, they're removed. And so we know that some people have found some of them. They're not always easy to find because we have to make it so that they're not found easily by the governments so they won't be removed. But many people have been informed by some of these very special films that were made. There's been hours and hours of them made. And thank you uh, for many of you for your contributions because some of you have 
been asked to give little um, interviews or uh, asked to give uh, art, art or help with the filming. So thank you very much for those of you that have helped. Okay, um, Peter has uh, two questions. He said, are there any updates regarding the relations uh, with the earthly governments? Yes, we're having meetings starting on the 29th, which is a Friday, and going for probably 10 to 12 days. These meetings used to be only three or four days long, but they have been so... Um, there's been so much more information coming through that they last a long time. And some of the discussions are very long. And some of the people that want to be involved in these discussions have to leave and come back. So there's some, it's been elongated to last 10 to 12 days. Now, yes, there is, uh, if you want to become involved with these uh, you you may become involved with them. Just let us know that you want to go. If you want to speak, let us know about that too. If you want to just witness what is happening in the astral, then we will take you along just to witness. But remember this. They will sometimes ask questions of those spectators to find out where uh, your head is at about certain subject matters. So please be prepared to answer uh, on questions about first contact, sight to sight, and things of that nature, medical problems, and and uh, there will be um, many questions that uh, require in depth answers in some ways. Okay, um, Peter also is asking uh, if if he has any involvement in the colonies, or and if so, what? Yes, you have. Uh, you go to Colony 1 and Colony 4 and Colony 2. Um, colony 1 is telepathy and light languages. Colony 4 is channeling. And Colony 2 is diet, exercise, and everything related to health. And you've been there a couple times. And only once have you been to colony six which is the healing area but you wanted to see what that was like so you you were there uh, one time and you actually really enjoyed it there you were given a good healing and you woke up very rested and relaxed that morning okay um thank you for that uh Krillick asks <laughs> can Liren's meow can Liren's meow yeah of course i'm a Liren meow yes <laughs> okay. All right. That was the question. Uh, Lily, I can also purr, but I'm not going to do that here. Okay. Fine. Uh, thank you for that. Lilypad wants to uh, know if you can help with purr with meditation. Of course I can. Um, write to us on on the the website, and we will be with you as soon as possible. All right. That's all the questions I have. Are there any other questions in your room? Any questions here? No. Very well, then I will go and I will let someone else come through. Uh, Dakur, I have a question. This is Mimi. Mimi, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. It's so good to hear from you. It's been a while. I, I have a question about what happened to us um, on a Wednesday uh, this week. We, um, I'm part of a group. And we uh, get together to discuss all sorts of things and meditate. And at the end of our session, we had some sort of intrusion. And um, we could hear some, some sort of voice trying to, to come through with the message. And I'm just wondering if you could clarify for us what this might have been. I was not there at your meeting. But I, was it, uh, did it sound like a positive message to you? It was difficult to to. Uh, Does it, to, did it come uh, through someone? No, it was coming through some sort of technology. We could hear I, it. I see. Let me look into that, and I will get back to you. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this is Jesse. I'm curious if I have any involvement in the colonies. Excuse yes, me. Yes, you are. You do. I can only see the top of your head. Um. 
yes, you have. You've been to the colonies only about three times, but you did enjoy it, and you will be coming again. A date for you has not yet been set, but one will be soon set for you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, was that your other question? Was that your only question, Jesse, or no? I think that, that is all it. the questions. Um, we, have, we have some more questions on this side. Uh, uh, Celeste says his mic's not working, but his question is uh, about his own visitation to the colonies and involvement, if you can elaborate on that for him. Yes, we will be uh, getting, uh, many people have uh, invitations to go, but when we go to them, they sometimes refuse to go because either they're not feeling well or they're very tired, and, or they, some of them have lost interest. But I hope that they were, are, their uh, interest is re-spurred by um, my announcements today. And I would like to see all of you there. And of course, I still visit on Fridays. So if you want to request that you visit with me at some time, request a fi Friday visitation. If there are too many, she'll have to push them out pretty far. But um, I like to meet everyone. Okay, um, there's also a question from uh, Deb. Why don't you ask your question? Go ahead, Deb. Yes? She's coming. Oh, she. Deb, you have to unmute yourself, hon. There she goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes. I, I, I've never heard of the colonies. I, I'm new to Hugalo, sorry. And I've never heard of the colonies. <laughs> there, are, there were six, but now there are seven colonies. These are places, uh, we are a, an alliance called Girk Fiknir, and we have eight different species with our alliance. And we have made colonies. Colony one is for... Uh, light languages and telepathy. Colony two is for health, edu health and diet and cooking and all the things related to health issues. Colony three is about filming and getting ready for disclosures uh, on the planet and uh, many people like to use uh, this colony to get out information that is essential for uh, the uh, first contact episodes when they come. Colony four is for channeling. Colony five is an entertainment area that people go to to rest, to relax, and have some food. And colony six is a healing area for all different kinds of healing modalities. And Colony 7 is a meditation area. Have I ever been involved in any of these? I do not think so. But if you would like to be involved, just let us know and we will schedule you a visit. You may not remember them. You come in the astral. So remember um, that. We are not permitted to take anyone site to site yet. We are still working on that. But hopefully within a few years, they will start to break that breakdown and giving us more permission for that kind of a uh, inter interaction. It's been quite a while since we've talked about the colonies. For the people who are interested to learn more about them, if you go to hucolo.org and you can just go to some of the very early webinars where they're talking about them, I do believe there's an explanation on the website about the colonies. Yes, um, I made it myself, I think. Okay, it's from Takur, and there's also a film, actually, of Takur talking about uh, the colonies and everything. That's basically what Human Colony uh, is standing for. It was, it was about the people that wanted to have uh, interactions and preparation for first contact. And there was, through Gurfik Nir, the group that uh, Max and Jim initially contacted via Takur, who I, I believe, Tucker, you were the first being to that Jim really channeled. Is that not correct or not? Well, no. It was someone okay. from my ship. Okay. It was Dizdu, the captain. Okay. Oh, that's right. I did not channel for six months right. after that. Right. Because yeah. I did not really like humans too much. That's true, yes. 
That's <laughs> yeah. So that so there's a whole history of human colony. Um, I encourage everyone to go to the website. You can check out the early videos, some of the early webinars, and you can see because a lot of the initial early uh, human colony webinars were specifically and only about the colony. Yes. Um, that, go ahead. That is why I wanted to come and give a refresher today because I think that I renewed interest would be good and may, perhaps at this point. Some people may be able to remember some parts of their visitation. The fourth dimensional energy on your planet is becoming stronger. Now, it's not great yeah. yet, but I, I'm hoping that more people will be starting to remember things. Okay, true. And if you wanted to go to the colonies, there's a sign-up sheet, which is basically an email that uh, is being read by our friends. Um, and if you are interested in having... Uh, the astral experience of going there, then you can, in fact, sign up. And that's on hukalo.org. You can find all that information. Um, there's some more info. There's some more questions from everyone, uh, from several people in the chat. Liney's wondering if she wondering if she's been in a while. Uh, I don't know. Yes, Liney goes regularly. Okay, and then there's a, someone called Star White Can uh, wanted to know if you if if this person, Star White, wants to know, do they have involvement in the colonies? Yes. And also the question is, is Area 50, 51 monitoring him or her? Um, Area 51 monitors some people in the, in the United States. It's top secret who they monitor and for what reasons. So I am not allowed to disclose that. Okay. Uh, Ava has a question. Go ahead, Ava. Just a very short question. Um, uh, may I go to the colony second for uh, exercise and diet? I think it would be lovely. Absolutely. When we bring you there, you you asked, uh, we asked you where you want to go. And so uh, each time you go to the colony, you can go somewhere different or the same place or whatever. It is totally up to your discretion. Thank you so much. Uh, Dave has a question. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, greetings, Takar. Greetings. I was curious. I don't normally ask uh, personally natured questions, but since I speak Lyran as a galactic language yes. and I have channeled you before, um, I feel that I have a child that is of Lyran nature. Um, I was wondering if you could help me understand why do I speak Lyran as a language and my connection to them? Um. <coughs> Um, yes, you you have some um, Lyran hybridization within you, and so that is why you have learned to speak Lyran so well. Also, you have been in the Lyran life many times. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Sheer has a question. Go ahead, Sheer. Hello, Tekur. How are you? I am well. And yourself? I'm doing uh, very good. I was relieved from uh, reserve duty. Uh, I believe you know it. Yes. I'm very glad for the assistance and the surprise call. Yes, uh, you were. So, uh, actually, you should thank Grindel mostly. Yeah, I will. I will thank him one day. Grindel um, is the one that got you removed from duty. Yeah. Anyway. Um, if you remember, I once asked you about people who are moving to Terra Ha, and you said that there's a, a certain, um, I don't know how to describe it, but you need to get to 80% uh, in um, density change, like to change your density to get to 80% of that. Right. Um, I... you, you remember what it is. Yes, at this point, well, when I first told you about that, it was 80%. But since the Earth energies have been so disrupted, it needs to be an even a higher percentile rate at this time. But there are those that are trying to translate into the fourth dimension even now. There are those that do, mostly uh, Tibetan monks and those that have been in meditation for years to prepare themselves, their bodies, their minds, their souls, their spirits 
all they do is prepare for that moment when they will translate into the next place. And you don't hear about this too often because um, sometimes monks don't even see each other in the Tibetan uh, culture, and uh, they wouldn't even know if they were gone There's yeah. at some point. Well, so, that's not the, the entire question. My question is about... Uh, I know that when one um, uh, store magic within himself, it becomes less dense. Yes, that is true. So let's say someone gets to the third eye and fully feel it. Is he going to be much less dense also in the 80%? Uh, that would be part of your magical abilities, would be able to, to move into that place. Hmm. Yes, it, there would be something that would be able uh, that you would be able to do to move into a different dimension at that point. I see. So that is kind of a loophole. Yes. Okay. And I was just but wondering. It's very rare that anyone uses it. Usually, if you become a magic a magician in one dimension, you want to stay and be able to use that power and energy to help others or that power and energy to help yourself. As, mm -hmm. And if you translate to the next dimension, you have to start all over again getting your magic. Seriously. So if someone starts to store magic at the third density and then moves to Terra High, he's, he needs to they do have to start or... over again, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a new dimension. It, it collects differently, and it, it is a different kind of energy. It's um, You'll learn as you move forward. And Terra is a much larger a concentration of magic? Yes. It, it's the same kind of magic, only when you translate through the veil. When you go through the veil, everything about your third dimension is wiped out. And you get uh, everything new. Is it also on eight percent? The same like here? I I will talk to you about that at some other point. It is actually eighty-five. Yes. Eighty-five. Yes, because you're already in a lighter density. You need to be in a completely other lighter density. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I think that makes sense to you, did it? Did it make sense? All right, I think I explained it correctly. <laughs> okay, um, I think that is all the questions that we have. Very well, there are others waiting to come through. All right, thank you so very much. Much love to you all and happy holidays. Thank I you. know that there is Christmas, Hanukkah and other holidays that I probably do not know about uh, or are not aware about at this second, but. Have a happy holiday. Thank you. And you as well, to whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate it. Yes, we have rituals that are similar, but not the same. Okay. Much love. Much love. Thank you. Much love. I am Prometheus. Welcome. Greetings to you all. Welcome to me. summoned. What do you want from me? Prometheus, Barbara here, I summoned you. 
Because my understanding is you're in Atlanta, in Atlanta, but um, Mount Shasta. And as a child, my father used to talk about Mount, Mount Shasta all the time, the people within it. And I'm just curious if he had a connection with the people at Mount Shasta. Did you know that? He does have a connection. There are many humans that have okay. con connections to the Agarthans. Okay. I myself have a connection to the Agarthans and the region of the Mount Shasta area and also the coast area. Okay. So can you tell me something about the um, inside Shasta, the civilizations inside Shasta under probably Bow? There's like a lot of caverns like they have down in the yes. They are they are not from this world but they have been here for a very long time. And they have been here for a reason. They are waiting for this ascension period to uh, come to a certain place so that they may show themselves and become part of it in a greater way. Now, they are already part of it in their prayer life and in their understandings, but they are not accepted yet to come into your world and be with you they are not even of third dimension they are of a higher dimension and so in order for them to be seen by your people they will have to come back to a third dimensional reality and they will do that at the appropriate time okay well thank you very much you're welcome There are many questions about the Agarthans because they are not well known. There are some that speak, but still there are questions and mysteries about their culture and how they live. They are very spiritual, but yet again, they are very secretive about some of the things that they have, uh, some of the knowledge they have acquired and some of the mysteries that they have found just here on this planet. So they are an interesting species. Are there other questions? There is a question from Lilypad. She wants to know in the chat, um, how can she know if she has a connection to Mount Shasta? Are you being drawn to it? Many people are drawn to it in one way or another. There are areas on the earth that you are drawn to, and these are places that you have connections to. If you have great thought processes about Mount Shasta or that area, or the Agarthans, or your, your curiosity is piqued from that area, it is very, a very good chance that you have connections with them in either one life or one dimension or another. So therefore, yes, they do reach out and connect to many people around the world, for they are praying for the ascension, and they want to connect uh, spiritually so that they can actually uh, guide and direct some positive thought processes for the ascension. Does this make sense to you? She did say that she has gone there. She felt called and she did go there. Then her connection is strong. Okay, perfect. Uh, Sheer has a question. Go ahead, Sheer. <clears throat> Greetings, Prometheus. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, are you the same Prometheus from the Greek mythology, the one that brought men fire? Yes. Well, from what I remember from that story, after you did it, uh, some very bad things happened to you. Can you tell us the real story behind that? I am not sure that everyone wants to hear that story, but... Um, is it some very uh, bad things did happen after I brought Manfire? Uh, the thing is about that time, it is very 
it is not reported correctly in history. There are uh, things that didn't happen that were reported that were happening. And I was in a place where I needed to move away from this planet. Were and you? So it was partially a warning to me that I needed to escape this reality and dimension and did so. I am now returned to this reality and dimension because of uh, the the energy that I need to bring to certain areas of the world and what I need to bring next to the ascension is the same fire I brought to mankind back then but only in a different way. Um, can I ask for some clarification about a couple of things? Sure. Well, first of all, was it fire or the fire was a symbol for something else that you brought mankind that you were not supposed to bring? Well, fire and spirit are similar in their interpretation. So, yes, I brought a spirit of fire to the earth and it was representative of spirit as well. And that was not well received. And the second question, I know that the Greek uh, gods and race are actually, you know, Zeus race is from a very far away and they keep to themselves. Were you a part of that race? I was a part of it in many ways, yes. Of as just as you are a part of the human race, but yet not always not a part of every part of the human race. So that I hope that answers that properly. Yes, I do understand, and uh, thank you for bringing the fire. And you are reincarnated right here, right now, as a human. No. I am still in spirit using the name Prometheus, for it is a name that is recognizable. And therefore, it, as a recognizable name, they will call on me and find some information that they mean, may need, spiritual or even technological. But I am here to help out with the ascension because I feel that I owe the earth a debt for I was not always the best when I was here in the past. And I was here many times, and not just as the Prometheus you knew, but as other beings as well. But this is something that I want to do to help uh, facilitate a greater rising in the spirit of humanity and a rising in your evolution. Um, that is very interesting, considering that when Zeus came here, he, he said the same thing about the way that they treated humans and feeling like there is a, a debt. So that is very interesting that you say it as well. I uh, think that we there are many of us from that period that felt that way uh, afterwards because we saw that we did not do a great deal of good, but more harm than good to some. I see. And can you tell us about some of your past reincarnations here? Were they also a, of note writing? I was one of the emperors of Rome. That was the other mm -hmm. not uh, notable personality. I see. Thank you very much. Thank you You're for welcome. being here. Thank you. I don't have any other questions in this room. Are there questions in your room? Is there any more questions? Very well. Of course. Oh, oh there, is of course. A question. there is one question from the chat. Uh, it's uh, from dude, the dude space. <laughs> Funny name. Uh, he's saying um, he wants to know about the poles and uh, the truth about the hole at the North Pole that Admiral Byrd discovered on, and entered on his expedition. That was the South Pole. Okay. Um, 
it the hole at the south pole is immense it's very large and it is a portal through the planet it is a it is a place uh, where uh, at this time there are ancient civilizations and ancient early species moving through there for um, purification reasonings now these there it is there for other reasons as well and there are many different um challenges with it at this moment which i cannot bring to light but there will be more information about it coming soon now it is also a place where there is a lot of energy there is also a, it is also a place that you can't imagine because around this very large hole, it's very warm, it's very green, and it's very fertile. Continue. Did it, was there a question here? Yes. 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 So the question shifted. Um, I was going to ask about Agartha, but it, a s pyramid was built here in this room mm -hmm. for you to come. A blue yes. pyramid yes. with specific symbols on each four sides with no symbol on the bottom. Correct. Can you please explain that? Apparently it's relevant. Yes, the pyramid is to bring energy to this area and but there are other pyramids in other places as well that also welcome me. But this particular pyramid is telling you of the the four symbols on it are telling you of the different qualifications that I have to help with the asc the ascension. They are power, energy, uh spirituality and love so these are the symbols that are taken from a very ancient galactic uh form of writing and spirituality this pyramid here that i believe you helped create is one that is going to be used again and again to bring through those people from the era that I was from in that uh, Greek culture. They are coming through to uh, bless the earth. They are coming through to bring greater life and greater prosperity to uh, certain ones that are on their way to help God bring messages to the earth. Does that answer your question? Yes, but why why is it blue? Blue is a very good color. <laughs> blue is actually um, the color of our realm. It is the color of the way we perceive our realm. And our realm is a very high dimensional place. The blue color that you see, do you see the blue? Absolutely. That color of blue does not actually exist in this reality, if you can see it correctly. It is a more iridescent blue. It is a more illuminated blue. And it actually, you can see through it and see into it. And it has other shades within it. Do you see that? Yes. Very well. Then you see it in its true likeness. This blue is very familiar to me. It should be. Okay. Is it is, is your questions are answered, uh, Will? Yes. 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 Perfect. Okay. There's a question about beings living in Chile. Um, Lily Pat wants to know what kind of beings live inside the Friendship Island in the south of Chile. This is a very healing culture. They actually have, um, uh, this is a, a ground level base headquarters, if you will, for very 
high dimensional healers and they have sent out different um healing uh, i don't know what they call it they're not ships but they are small communities of healers uh to affect particular areas in the world and these areas are usually very distraught and poor so they are in several areas to help bring about healing and prosperity where there is none okay thank you for that that was the last question that we had on this very topic. well i have one question there is another question yes go ahead who, who who's the artist that's going to write those symbols because my skills really suck <laughs> You will be guided. Thank you. The thing is, he asked who is going to be the artist to do these symbols. I told him that he will be guided. Go into your meditation. You will see how to make these symbols. If you need to use tools to make these symbols, then do so. But I believe that your free hand will be able to make them in as good as likeness as they are able to be made. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. I, now, I, now I think- I might, I might have a question. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe Catherine has a question. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Primitus. My, my name is Catalin. Greetings. You mentioned uh, you bring, uh, among spirituality and love, you bring also power. Where power, is residing in uh, humans. Where is the power residing in humans? Is that the question? In the in their yeah in their space in their body in their yes of course there are two different places. The soul of course is one great big powerhouse because it is the essence of the being, the essence of all the energy that can be uh, created from. Uh, the the energy that you you use as a human to create things to bring things forth to uh, understand it it powers the entire system. But remember, you have the chakras as well. But remember, the chakras are not in the body, but outside of the body. So it also powers the chakras that are there around you and within you uh, within your. Um, aura so it is the main power section but there is another area that has a great deal of power and that is the fourth dimensional energy that you are now starting to store um, before 2012 there was no fourth dimensional energy to speak of in the human psyche only trace elements of it in every human but now that it is growing and becoming a greater energy within the human psyche, within the human realm. It also is helping, uh, the soul is also helping the fourth dimensional energy become more powerful and more useful to all the creative things that your mission would require. Also, it is, um, the fourth dimensional energy is there to be used as a power up for your own chakras and energy fields and remember this your chakras are not the only energy fields but there are thousands of chakras around the body smaller ones these are just the greater ones the body needs all these chakras to continue to be energized so that it can continue to move forward in a way that is in god's perception of humanity now that is something that's not discussed very often, but it is that all the different chakras are still part of the soul area and are powered by it. So this fourth dimensional energy that is now coming into, into a greater understanding and a greater um, um, uh, mass, let's put it that way, in a greater mass, is being used to propel humanity into a greater 
evolution and greater understanding of God. Yeah, um, I like the idea of the little chakra thing that uh, um, explains much more than I was expected um, uh, your answer. And it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense a lot. And um, I was more actually um, referring to the chakra, the power chakras. And, yes. Um, in um, in um, at men, is it the similar? What's the difference between a, a power chakra at men and women? Between men and women? Yeah, if yeah. there is any. Um, it depends on each individual. It does not matter if you are a man or a woman. It matters if you are able to maintain your energy or able to call on your spirituality to uh, charge up all your chakras, uh, to charge up your fourth dimensional energy. It matters not if you're a man or a woman, but it matters if you are connected to God's energy strongly. And if the stronger you are connected to his energy, the stronger your energies will be also. Now you may say, but there are those that are really sick that are very, that believe very strongly in God. And it just may not be their time to move forward with a mission or, or with anything important. And it may be their final, uh, time on earth and their chakras may be uh, going out if you will but that energy of god is pulling up through through the crown and will continue to keep them alive as long as necessary for their mission to continue if their mission is can complete he will eventually take them if but if he sees any chance that there is something that they could say or do that would enlighten someone or make someone realize that God is a greater being, then they will stay there as long as possible. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it and much love to you. You're welcome. Much love. Thank you. Kathleen. Now I wanted to continue with that train of thought for a little bit. Sure. There are those that do not call on God to strengthen their chakras and strengthen their beings. And, but that God soul is still within them and still keeping them alive to some degree. Now you may say, why would he keep someone that's very miserable and in pain alive? It is not that, that he is keeping them alive. Their willpower does have, and their belief system does have something to do with their existence. So if you have a very strong willpower, if you have a very strong need to stay alive, then you may stay alive longer than he may intend you to because you may be fear, have a fear of dying. You may think that you were not a great person and that moving on might not be a good thing for you. And so the willpower and intention of, the, of your uh, energy fields may stay intact longer than they uh, should, could or should. Yes, awesome. And actually, I'm working on... Uh with this kind of concept. Yes. And, and energy. So you have to understand there are a lot of different energies at work here. I think the most powerful is the consciousness and the awareness of it. So Yes. Well, I, that's what I was saying about their uh, intentions and their willpower uh, yeah. to stay alive can sometimes keep them holding on far beyond what they their body would probably want them to yeah i think uh, this is where i actually wanted to get uh, from uh, my questions <laughs> thank you yes i i i sensed that there was you wanted more information and so that's why i went there yeah exactly <laughs> thank you perfect uh don has a question go ahead don greetings greetings prometheus um recently i was in um a hospital. Uh, a friend of mine is in palliative care, and uh, I wanted to help him. He was he had had his chemo and all that other stuff, and uh, I just wanted to remove the radiation from him, which I did. I placed it in an orb, and uh, it was dealt with. Um, 
I opened the chakra in my palms to administer the light to him. Yes. I cut my right hand upwards to receive energy from Father. Yes. And um, I just want you to know, for everyone else that's listening, can they do this for their loved ones? Yes, they can. Everyone has a certain amount of healing within their bodies and with their in their hands and within their bodies. Some people have greater amounts than others. But remember this, no matter how little or how much healing energies that you have, you can use it and you can make it stronger. The more you use your healing energies, the greater it becomes. I, I think that some of the people that are heal here are healers and that as they have learned different things about their own selves and how and have continued to heal others, they have become stronger and stronger in their healing modality. And this is by design because God wants you to use that healing. God wants you to strengthen your healing. Now, some are not meant to be healers as an occupation, but everyone is meant to uh, give healing energy when necessary. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Blessings. Blessings to you as well. Thank you. Um, there's a question from... Uh Oh, uh, I don't know if he's making a joke. Never mind. There was a there was a, someone who was t uh, commenting on the person in the behind you in the blue blanket, but that's oh. it was more of a sweet comment. So we'll let that one go by. It's anyway. a blue blanket comment. We will. One of, one of your one of your viewers is is cuddled up very nicely behind you. And, I see. So, okay. I but do I not. Think, I cannot see that at this moment. That's okay. We. we uh, <laughs> we want to thank you very much for coming. I don't see any more questions. I could be wrong, unless there's a, another one in your room. Ah, Marlena has a question. You guys, you got to kind of chime in a little earlier. Go ahead. <laughs> Prometheus, greetings. Thank you. Greetings. Uh, my question is concerning Alex Christos. Okay. I was just wondering if uh, you've seen him recently, have you spoken with him, how he is? He transitioned in September 2016. One moment and, he, and I will make contact. Thank you so much. He has made it successfully through a great deal of, of things. Um, yes, he is doing very well. Um, he says to say hello, but also that this is different than he expected and that it's it's much better than he expected. Thank you. I'm very happy. I've uh, If he's listening right now, Alec, I would certainly like to have a conversation with you. And he would like that. I'm available whenever you are, my friend, my dear friend. He still has a little bit of his review to go through. There is still a few things left for him to do before he is free to do whatever he wants, so to speak. But that should not take much longer, perhaps a month. Thank you very much, Prometheus, for contacting him. Thank you. Much love. And much love to you. Um, there's a question from Wendy in the chat. She's saying she's saying that she truly believes that the written, spoken, sung, and hand sign languages activate chakras. Can you comment on that? Oh, and, of course. And there's, a, there's a former question from uh, Kina saying, uh, "How can you um, uh, energize chakras if they are?" out of alignment very well first of all i will answer both of these questions but first of them how do you fix a chakra that is out of alignment first of all chakras are very delicate to deal with and i don't want everyone to just be going around uh working with chakras every time you do a healing 
that is not necessary. If someone asks you to check their chakras, then check them and by running your hand over the body or over the chakra areas, and you will feel if there needs to be a, a, a brightening or an enhancement of some sort. Now, if there does need to be a brightening or some sort, you need to know exact you need to know your chakras and how they work. You need to know that they are energy fields and that they are like small vortexes in the system and they are moving into the body. They are moving into the body, not out of the body. They're giving strength to the body and not removing energy from the body. So you will, in this dimension, age, and uh, time, you move, uh, you will do a choco ray in a, uh, a counterclockwise uh, way, and you will also add color to it. You have to know your colors. You have to know what's going on. And do not overcharge it. Just do three choco rays at the most and add color to that chakra and energy to that chakra. Now, if it is just a very, if you just feel a very mild uh, difference, only do one choco ray. One is enough. Chakras can be energized very easily with the choker ray or the spiral. Uh, uh, I, I was using the Japanese Reiki symbol to uh, let you know about how to do it that way. But if you just use a, a counterclockwise spiral, that is also fine because it does the same thing. It, it, uh, picks up on the spiral of that vortex and strengthens it. And if you add the color of, the, of that vortex to it, then it will strengthen it. Now, do not try to strengthen uh, or do vo uh, chakra work if their chakras are fine. You can very much mess up someone's energy systems if you're working on chakras and you don't know what you're doing. So please learn about your chakras before you, you try to fix them, so to speak. Now, the other question was, how do the hands uh, affect chakras? How does the energy in the hands affect other people's chakras? Yes, I just explained that you can brighten the chakras with the spiral movement. There are other ways to brighten the chakras as well. Mother Earth has a technique called the uh, Rainbow Pyramid that is done over the head or over the feet that just slightly puts a slight brightening to all the chakras. Nothing heavy, very light. And you can do this over the head or over the feet and as many times as you want because it's such a light energy it will just brighten them if necessary. Otherwise, it will just pass right over. There are other ways also to do this, and that is to send energy directly to the chakra from the palms of the hands. As someone else had mentioned, they can send energy from the palm. That is your main healing area, the one that usually is activated first for healing, and the second is the fingertips, and then third is the heart and the third eye are also areas that you can send energy from. By intending the right amount of chakra energy to be added to the chakras, you may brighten the chakras. But again, know your chakras. Know their color. Know how strong they are. Feel, be able to feel them. Get to a point, if somebody wants to uh, you to work on their chakras, you should be able to know how to sense if they are in good condition or not. If you cannot do that, do not work on their chakras. Any questions? <coughs>
Yes, there's a question um, because some people are not Reiki trained. Uh, uh, kind of wanted to know about what is Chokure. Yeah, so Chokure is a symbol that means put the energy here. It's a Japanese word. Um, but it means put the energy here or put the energy everywhere. And I was using it as the symbol to put the energy on the chakra. And if you, if you have not studied that modality, then you would not know what it means. Right. But I'm telling you that there is other ways. If you have not studied um, Reiki or any of the healing modalities, then just use a spiral or your energy in your palm. But remember this, the first thing to remember is you must be able to know if the chakra actually needs brightening. And if you cannot tell that, do not work on the chakras. Okay. Um, there's a question about <coughs> continuing with the chakras. Lilypad wants to know about a woman, I guess when she goes through menopause, does that mean that uh, the chakras are out of balance? I wouldn't say so. I say they almost more about. No, um, not necessarily. The chakras are energy fields. What happens with uh, menopause is the hormonal system is out of balance mm -hmm. or changes <clears throat> in some way. Right. Is there water here somewhere? Yes. Just no. I'm sorry. Um, that is the hormonal system and not the energy system. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The hormonal system is out of balance. You can be, have very strong chakras and still be going through menopause. It is a natural function, and mm -hmm. it is a function of the hormones. <coughs> Thank you. For, I'm coughing as well. <laughs> um, there's a question uh, from Chris about free energy devices, and, and he wants to know if that's something that will ever come to humanity. And if there's anything that uh, you would like to technologically pass on to humanity. There are energy devices coming, and not that far in the future, that will bring much, um, much more energy efficiency to your world. The problem is that right now your governments do not want energy efficiency. You would think that they would, but they do not. <coughs> they it would stifle their income on electricity and gas usage okay Wendy had a question and i missed it before uh, going back again to uh light language is written song activating the chakra she also wanted to know uh did these also activate the species that are sleeping within the earth she's she received in channeling um the white dragons that assisted in their awakening. Can you comment? You can send out healing energy from anywhere. And yes, healing energy is good. It would not be that you're sending out chakra uh, energy. Uh, you would just be sending out energy so that they would be healed or awakened or whatever. You're not really sending the energy to the chakra fields. If, the, if it need, the energy needs to go to the chakra fields, it will. Remember that when you send out energy of healing of any type, it goes where it needs to go. Now, if, if you're intending to send out uh, energy or to the chakras, I don't think that is a good idea. I think that if you're sending out healing, if you know that there is something that needs healed, a pain, of a disease or whatever, you may intend it for that, but I would not uh, send it out to affect the chakra system unless you know for sure that there is a chakra problem. Okay, okay, thank you for that. All right, before we go on, are there any last questions from anyone? I have one. Okay, go ahead. Um. This is about, it's about my girlfriend. She had a brain tumor taken. We can't hear you very well. Um, my, my girlfriend had a brain tumor taken out when she was five years old. 
and um it's it's affected it, it's affecting her life she has uh seizures at, le at least one seizure a day and it affects her memory and she can't understand she can't has pr has trouble comprehending things and i just really want to help have her help her live a better life what would be with my current uh s s set of understanding things like what would be the best way like is is the, would it even be best for there to be any kind of intervention on my part to help her because she's i, I just want her to live a better life um that that's yeah. a, it's it's a gen i just need general guidance please well you can you can there are ways to do healing on the brain and um you can intention your healing from your hands to help the brain now if it's a severe problem it will take a lot of work because this is i'm understanding that she is now an adult and this has been since five years old and so that injury is very old and it will need a lot of problem uh I, I need a lot of energy to correct it in any way shape or form you're going to have to be in uh doing healing on her almost continuously if it's in the brain now there are those spiritual beings around you that may be able to help does she believe in spirits she's very closed off to this entire concept every everything that we are doing here that is what i suspected she will need to open herself up a little bit more to that because her belief systems will help the cure because her energies and your energies work together to cause an uh to create a cure and also the spirits around will help to create a cure but if she cannot believe that a cure is is there or that spirits exist that can do these kinds of things it's very difficult for someone to by yourself get a healing through if she believes in your healing energy that is helpful but remember to bring through other spiritualities to help you if she allows it i i can feel a lot th thank 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 you for that and also i just want to mention i can feel a lot of uh confirmation that i'm going to be getting a lot of help there's just this huge wave of energy that just came my way just by me saying what i did yes so so to, to those who are helping me thank you yes your faith is part of this you can help be an example to her so that her light turns on a little brighter and that she is able to call on other spirits and other energies to help her with this healing it is a difficult time for her i understand that and it's not getting any better so this is a time for her to um call and these energies around you are helping you to understand what she actually needs that is the energy that she needs is the energy that's around you now thank you very much you're welcome so i have a suggestion um maybe you want to schedule uh, an appointment with jim with both you and her to help her i mean she will receive information to help her open up to wh whatever this is that she needs just a suggestion thank thank you I'll, I'll keep it in mind i can feel that you are emotionally overcome by the energy that is there there is an angel with you now and that is what you feel much love to I, you. i appreciate that confirmation thank you very much much love and many blessings thank you um <clears throat> Someone just said that their wife has similar, similar difficulties. So that was very helpful. It can be helped, believe it or not. A lot of people feel that these kinds of energy, 
uh, injuries are too difficult to heal. But we are, we as spirits see that there are those that are being helped on your planet that have been paralyzed and had severe brain damage that is being healed now. So keep faith. Understand that the healing can happen. It is, it is just part of your love and intention and God's will. Thank you for that. Okay. I'm not sure if there's any more questions because every time I say there's no more questions, someone has one. one so more. There is another. <laughs> <Let's> see? <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. So there's a, an electrical form of Reiki, I want to call it, but it's not really Reiki, Correct. from your realm. Correct. That I believe will help his girlfriend. Yes. Can you give us a name for it? And there are three symbols. In one, the Karuna symbol, Raku, I think they, is one of them. Um, I'll let you but talk now. You will have to show them what that is. Like Raku. Raku kind of looks just like a lightning bolt. Raku is an is like that. It is the kind of energy that uh, is immediate healing energy, meaning that there is a situation where you are just struck by the lightning and it's you're healed. Does that make sense? Yes. There is other kind of healing that takes more time. The other symbols that are there are also essential, but you would need a class to understand them. Um, and I think that you probably could teach one. But um, yes, there is another kind of energy from outside your realms, the spiritual realms that will help. The spirals are definitely a strong one. And there's even greater spirals than the Joku Ray. So, um, and I do not know what uh, they are called on Earth. But there is another spiral that is um, a, a, a jagged sort of symbol. I'm not sure what it's called. But it is something that can help with your healing here as well. I will have to look into these and um, because I do not know the earthly names for them. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. It is time for me to go. There are those that would like to give prayers, I am sure. And I don't think there is any more questions. I, I can't guarantee it, but uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Much love. And Hollywood, Hollywood? A holiday greetings. <laughs> thank you. Much love to you. And thank you for your time and for spending your your moments with us. Much and also fun. Hollywood greetings. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, what is Hollywood greetings? Um, I don't I'm know. Hollywood greetings are be the star of your own movie that's playing in your head. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, well, what a beautiful uh, sharing from Prometheus and Elijah and, uh, well, no, it was an Elijah with uh, Tukur and Elijah in the very beginning. So, yes. Yeah, yeah very it beautiful. The three of them, I think. Yeah, the triumphant. And um, so now we need some volunteers for closing prayers. Well, we've got Will. We know for sure. Will. Anyone, Anyone else? else? The Google room. The I'll volunteer. Who's that? Uh, I think Jesse. Was... Okay, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse. Shall we start with Jesse? Go ahead, Jesse. Okay, go ahead. Here, bring it forth. 
There are many kinds of love, and the Spirit endorses them all. Bring them into your life in its abundance. There is kindness and friendship, passion, spirituality, and all these things are meant to be experienced by the human and by many other species. But God blesses them all. So find a way to incorporate all these kinds of love into your life so that you are a prism of all these different special kinds of love, compassion, and beauty. Amen. Will, go ahead. Toruhu katasi uru to ka ura arhu to tu to tari wito rice. Tora taris is hato tu to go to huru rata to katuku to tar tu tar than the way he was hara. Tora tata katura tata tita kura tata wara tata tata tita kutu tura tutu tura chisho wata tura ra. Tura tata tari tita kuru kura tata tita luta tira ura tata tita tita kura tar hu hu tata tita tuhu 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 let the power of today move forward immerse yourself in the energy of god and the energy of what can be and what will be do not stop to think that you are not doing right if you are showing good and compassion to others do not stop to think about what you are doing if you are moving forward in god's will Move forward strongly with great understanding and great courage. Fear will come upon you to stop you because it is a killer of opportunities. But remember, God is with you and is your strength and is your courage and is your love and is all things that will benefit you and is all things that are meant to be forever and ever. And he is here to give you that kind of confidence. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Angie's going to. Okay, perfect, Angie. Okay. Everything about humans is curious, except for their love is the same as ours. We wish to bring you that enforcement of our love and enforcement of our prayers to you thank you for being who you are and for moving and accepting other species when that time comes we are with you and reaching out wow thank okay, you good. and we have uh, david uh David Lossington, go ahead, David. I don't yes. know if that's the other David. I'm, I'm confused what's happening here, but we know David Bell is going to definitely do both things. For okay. him. I'm here. Ashionaku, Anna Sahuta, Rakanaya, Eshuanza, Hayuanza, Shigunda Naya, Sayavanza, Hoshanahata, Eliwa Yanga, Nahu de Brakanasa, Ejuganaya, Eshavina. Ashunda Nara, Elua Zanda Nagwe, Ashiwa Nazahai, 
Abaru Ana Shaba. Many energies are coming together for this season. Many energies are there to support you in all that you do and all that you are. Make sure that you are bringing these energies in for the right purposes and the right outcomes. Love and understanding will be with you throughout all time. Much love. Thank you. Well, David, did you, the other David, did you want to give a blessing or no? Okay. okay. Yes? Uh, okay. Yes or no? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you. I think that's it. All right, I have, have, a, ble day, I have a blessing. Oh. Who is that? This is uh, this is Lucia. La sakashi si kia la kasha la kasulisi, ashu si kia la kashomi, alu kasa kia chu si kia la kakola kachuli ki, shusia la mi, shusia la ka, alala chu si lichisiko. Namaste. Let your heart expand and let your brain power diminish in the thought that God is all-powerful and knows exactly what you need to do. Do not overthink your world or your life or your mission. Ooh. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lucia. Thanks. Beautiful. You're welcome. All right. So thank you so very much. We are at the end of our day so for people who are interested in the upcoming reiki class uh, please get in touch with angela um and her her email address is a speed what is it angela six four five six a speed four five six at gmail.com six four five six six four five six a speed six four five six at gmail.com for information and to to uh, reserve your spot. It's $111 for a two-day master teacher Reiki class uh, taught by Chakur. Yes, it's Galactic Reiki. Galactic Reiki. Don't be confused with any of the other Reikis. Right. But it's a uh, master teacher Galactic Reiki class uh, January 12th and 13th from, we're either thinking three to six or four to seven. Give us your input what would be better for you. Well, both times are, uh, we, we were thinking the four to seven might be better for the people in Australia and those areas. So just let us know what's uh, on your mind. Perfect. All right, get in touch with Angela. All right, everyone, thank you very much. Next week, uh, we will be back. And then on the last week of the month, on the Saturday webinar will actually be on Friday. It's going to be with Rob Gauthier at a special time, 3 p.m. Uh, EST, I believe. I want to. I'll double check, but keep checking the website. Uh, it's going to be either three or four. Uh, it'll be for a very short one hour. Um, and so, if you want to have a space, please get here early um, because I'm sure that the room will fill up. But with Rob Gothier, it's going to be on Friday. Uh, so it'll be and the Saturday is, webinar on Friday. He is totally amazing. He's absolutely wonderful. Uh, I'm good friends with him and Kalina, and they are just amazing people. Yeah. Uh, you would do good to be there at that that time. Yeah. Amazing. Perfect. So we will see everybody next week. Much love to you. And who's yeah. doing next week? I am. Oh, you're amazing too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So next week I'll see everybody, and then the week after we'll see Rob, and we'll have, and then the first week of January, Rob. Uh, Jim will be back. All right. Much love, everybody. Much love, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful holiday season. <laughs> yes.